Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a trackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world and boy does it add to the occasion. the whistle tries to locate someone up front whipped in header Oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. They get a throw in. Ferdinand. Battles to win it back. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal and he didn't go for the back heel. Turns and goes back. Gorgeous control there. Plays it over to the other flank. And now they can launch a counter. Danny. Chance to break. A really good feat from him. Ferdinand. And that's been won straight back. Over to the left. Tries to get it forward quickly. Forward it goes. And it's hoisted clear. Ronaldo. Ball glued to his feet. Played out to the right. Hit into the middle. It's well blocked and back out it comes. Keeps everyone guessing. Can he deliver? He's in! And the first 45 minutes are up. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. So first half thoughts? It's been a pretty abject performance. No effort at goal. I'm struggling to remember it the last time we had that. After 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. So, we're just settling back into this second half. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. Okubo. Well read, he sorted that out. It's 
a promising ball. Lovely feet. That's out for a goal kick. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. chances to talk of Jim defenses it seems on top here well I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defenses have been strong hits one he's pulled off a fine save well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Gets it back. Well weighted. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Clearly not what he wanted to do. Hoists it forward. He's there to receive it. Shapes to shoot! Oh, it's in! And that might well be that! Oh, what a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. Sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. A 1-0 lead established. Knocks it away. And it's been taken straight back. It is now or never. Time is against them. And that is it. The referee has seen it up. One goal settled it. A tense and exciting game that just got away. Your thoughts on today's game then Tim it's a poor result they offered very little goal threat and it's the kind of unproductive performance that can drain confidence pretty quickly at the business end they just can't close the deal that's where we have to end it for me Peter Drury and my co-commentator Jim Beglin a very good evening to you all